All right guys, well today we are working on the easy go today. This is one of the ones that has the seven batteries in it, which is 42 volts. And when you look up replacement lithium batteries, you're usually offered two options, which is 38 volts and 48 volts. So what I am getting is I end up getting a 38 volt battery from Amazon. This is a Lemonori. We got pretty good deals on it right now. Lots of coupons, there's always coupons on this and it comes with the charger. We'll open this box up here in a minute. From what I understand, they only made this configuration for a couple years with this car. So yeah, it is a 42 volt system. So my choices were ordering a 38 volt or a 48 volt. 48 volt sounds cool, like the cart's gonna go faster, but it might burn things up. I really don't know if the controller can handle that or not. So I just went with the 38 volt. So today we're gonna see how this thing does on 38 volt lithium power. This guy uh, still runs, um, but I know I have at least one bad battery in this thing. It's pretty darn slow. At least one of these guys is dead. We'll see what the tray underneath looks. I might have to come up with something. I might have to make something. This is what you're gonna get when you order this thing. It's always kind of like, how's this battery gonna come? Shipped. The box is actually really nice. Um, it's really thick ass cardboard, thick ass foam. When I looked at the shipping, it says the package weighs about 100 pounds. And like if we look at the the sides and stuff, plastic handles. Um, you know, you have to worry about it getting damaged or whatever on the way here. You know, it's a thousand dollar box, but everything's packaged really well. And uh, assuming these are the chargers and uh, this is the display, I think. Vice handles and this thing, yeah, this thing isn't light. I don't think it's hundred pounds, but. <clears throat> and here's some instructions here. What I think I'm gonna do is Start charging this thing now before I take the cart apart. Charger. Cables, bolts, display. All right, 51%. Then, stand with it for a second. All right, so to get the charger to come on, you have to make sure you turn the battery on. And it's been on for about five minutes and we're already at 55%. All right, cool. Well, this isn't a good spot for a dog, let me tell you. Not a good spot for a dog, I know. Not a good spot for a puppy. No, don't eat any of this. <clears throat> So this is pretty cool. This is a watering system for the batteries. So you can top off the water in it just by connecting this to a tank that I have. And you fill it with distilled water. It worked pretty, pretty good. All right. So to get the batteries out, they make a fancy tool to help you pull them out. But I'm just gonna use um, a ratchet strap feed it in here, but the tool itself is this, um, a piece of rubber that has two hooks on the end, and you can just hook these batteries, but it's like $10 on Amazon, but you can just do it this way if you want to save 10 bucks. Make your own little handle here. Just lift these guys out. They are not very light, not very light at all. Okay, so the tray looks okay, but it does have these guys that stick up here, which is gonna get in the way. So I'm gonna need to stick something down here. Probably gonna get a board or two, put them in here for now. Um, I don't know if I wanna grind these off yet. Uh, I kinda wanna see how the car performs first. Some of these wires, there's a lot of wires. Um, they are part of the charger, which I'm pretty sure this is the charger because it runs to the charger. So I don't have to hook this back up. It's gonna stay for now. All right, I just have some boards laying around. They're gonna work. Sure. All, right. All right, so we'll do a rough weight on this real quick. I'm about, I'm about 215. And it's at about 300 right there 
so it's about 85 pounds. It's like one of these guys here. Two eighty five. What is that? Seventy, sixty, sixty five pounds a piece. No way. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Sixty five pounds, eighty pounds. So we're going to lose a ton of weight, and I still have this guy in here. Okay, cool. All right, so this is about eighty five. I already checked the height on it, it's good. And it's gonna fit in there like that. So, using wood, we're we'll gonna do a mount. It's pretty simple on there. All right, I think I have everything hooked up. I think, I don't think I'm missing anything. But when I first hooked it up, I definitely was missing one of the wires, one of the grounds. So, hopefully, this thing does not go up in smoke. So, we got the wiring done. <clears throat> On the battery okay and I learned a few things along the way um, with this cart I need to have the charger wiring hooked up which is this white wire here with a fusible link need to be hooked up um, to get the cart to actually power on okay so got that going <clears throat> and then I learned something about the lights on this and this wire back here that was wired in the middle of the battery pack the old battery pack and um, Originally I had this wired right up to the new battery and what I ended up doing was I ended up um, frying every light bulb in the cart because <clears throat> basically I gave every light bulb 38 volts when I tested it out, popped every light bulb, the tail lights, front light, turn signals, everything popped. Uh, Got to get all new ones of those, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So the lights run off 12 volts. If you're going to do this conversion, you're going to need a step down converter, which I already have in the cart. I have a really good video on how to install one of these. It's already in here, so you gotta wire this up to the lights to get it to work. Um, went ahead and mounted the charger inside this thing. I don't want it on the floor, like I have my old school one on the floor here. This one's gonna live in here, and all I have to do is just plug it in with a cable like that. And it's just screwed down in the boards. Same thing with the battery pack right now, it's just screwed down in the boards. It's not gonna go anywhere. The controller here is pretty neat. Right now it says that we're charging. We're charging at 20 amps. We're at about 96% and batteries up to 40.98 volts, which this thing is going to run pretty good. You can hit the button here to go to page two. Page three, this shows you voltage of the cells. Page two, this shows you temperatures and status. Okay. And it's actually touch screen, so you can actually do that. So I'm just going to leave this here for right now because I don't know where I want to put it, if I even want to put it up here. Okay, so there is an app for the battery. Bluetooth battery popped up right here. And we're going to connect. It's gonna give me the battery overall information. I guess it's gonna update here. But it basically gives me all the same display information. All right, we're at 99% charge, 41.2 at 3 volts, 21.5 amps. And we got temperatures here, and a single cell voltage here. So instead of having the display down up there, I can just use my phone and the app, which is probably what I'm gonna do. So the on sequence is a little different than normal now. We gotta go ahead and turn the battery on and then we turn the key and then we can go for the test drive. Uh, when I pulled this thing out of the garage it felt lighter but I haven't driven it yet so this is gonna be the first go, first impression. Yeah, I can already tell it's lighter. Oh yeah. That's a pretty good get up. It feels no slower than before at all. It moves pretty good. It actually feels a little bit quicker. Oh yeah, it's got instant power now. Yeah, it ain't slow at all. Oh yeah. 
sounds good. Sounds real good. I'm real curious to see what this thing would do with just a, an upgraded motor, okay? Um, this one's pretty worn out. This car's a 2008. It's got a ton of miles. Oh yeah, it's got a lot of get up and go now. All right, the more I drive this thing around, the more I realize how bad my other batteries are or were. Because this thing drives fantastic now. Um, it's just, I've been driving around for at least, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes. And there is this, it just feels great. There's just no weakness so far. And uh, I'm going to go around as long as I can. Me and the dog here, and we're just going to drive around and see how much battery this needs up. Okay, so we just checked the top speed on the cart, and before it only used to go about 18 miles an hour, and now I'm getting about 21 miles an hour, which is just pretty good. It's just, you know, a couple of miles per hour it makes you kind of feel like you're uh, a little less getting run over on the road. Because I'm out here on the road right now, just driving around like an idiot. But yeah, it feels pretty good. We've been, me and the dog, been just driving for like 30 minutes, and uh, still, still, no signs of anything wrong or losing power or anything like that. So. Oh, and I've decided since I need to buy all new bulbs that I am going to get rid of the Cyclops headlight and do two headlights on, on that you actually mount inside this plastic here, okay? It makes it look a lot better. Um, I have that on order. I should get it tomorrow, so we're going to do that tomorrow. Okay, so I left the cart on for, uh, it's been a little bit over 24 hours. Uh, I got the key on and the battery light is still on. Just wanted to see um, if, it, if it used up any of the battery, just chilling overnight. Okay, so I leave this thing on. And it looks like it used up maybe 2% of the battery when I left it. Uh, yesterday it was around 70%. So, chilling with everything on. Looks like it lost about 2%. All right. Headlights come with a template. I was really worried they weren't going to come with a template and this was going to be a pain in the ass. But they did. All right, so this should be pretty easy. Picked these up on Amazon. Got them in like two days. Come out of the box. They don't come with a harness because I just went with the front headlights. Uh, you can get a kit that has the rear LED too and it comes with the harness and everything, but um, I don't really want that. I just want the front. Um, but yeah, LED, LED turn signal. We're gonna have to cut this cable. But we're gonna cut the cart in front of the body right here and fit these on here. Yeah, I was super worried about trying to do this like freehand because it's such an odd shape. But getting rid of Mr. Cyclops here. Not too bad, oh, yeah, and these are like uh, $59. And my dog's out there tearing shit up. Hey! What are you doing? Stop! Yeah, quit tearing the hose up. Yes, Dakota. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing, buddy? Oh, that's my buddy right there. So if you put this here, put this here. Hopefully, that's that's where it needs to go. We get one shot at this. So. Okay, here goes nothing. Turn signal. Well, that was the headlight. So we call blue, black, red. So we go red to red. Right 
Heard the red. No, 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 no. It changes. Look at this. Look at this shit. It's red right here. But then it changes to yellow. What the fuck? So yeah, I usually solder all my wires. I don't use any butt connectors ever. Because they like to fall apart. Solder. And it doesn't really fall apart. This is a butane soldering irons. This is a Weller one. It works uh, pretty darn good, even though there's no tip left on it. Still managed to use it. So normally I would just heat shrink this stuff, but I'm out. I need to order some. <coughs> so it's 3M electrical tape to the rescue. Let's see if I can flash. There we go. I just wanted to see the bulb in the back. Cool. Looks a lot tougher, a lot tougher. I need to do something about these tires. This one's looking a little bald. So looking at the front of this thing now, it looks like it's missing something. It's definitely missing some better looking tires. And I think it's missing like a, a bumper, like a crash, like an off-road bumper or something. Let me look into that, see what they got out there for it. Cause it just looks, I don't know, looks like it's missing something. Okay, so I took the cart out, driving around everywhere. I could again for about 30 minutes and it's battery power left 64% uh, got about probably two hours of just driving the cart everywhere I could possibly go in the neighborhood and do everything I normally kind of do in the cart like pick my kids up from school on this thing I did that trip twice all kinds of crap I went everywhere I mean we're around in circles I uh, wanted to see if I could, it could do like you know Spin the tires, you know, everything. Did everything. That's not bad. Um, I can't drive it anymore. I wanted to originally drive it down to where it was like 20% or something where I needed to charge it, but I just can't do it. I can't spend the next like two, three, four hours in this thing driving it around. So, battery is definitely a super duper upgrade. The 38 volts in this 42 volt cart um, seems to be working out pretty well. Uh, if anybody's have has any information or has ever done like the 48 and a 42. Uh, that'd be kind of cool to find out how that went or how that goes if the cart's like super fast or it's got like hella range That'd be kind of neat to know so you can hit me up on that um, Yeah, if you want to get one of these I'll have a Down in the description box the website information where you can go to the website and pick one up or you can go to Amazon check that out um, So yeah, check that out and yeah Super happy with the battery Pretty happy with how the lights turned out the cart looks hella better I'll have some night footage here in a second to show you guys what it looks like. Uh, but yeah, not bad for 59 bucks. Totally changes the front of the, the cart. It looks, doesn't look as, I don't know, with the Cyclops light, it looked old school. This kind of brings it into a newer, newer, it looks newer, you know, because this is 2008. It's pretty damn old, so. But yeah, that's it for this video. Really hope you enjoyed it and learned something. I know I did. And uh, yeah, if you could leave a thumbs up for me, I would really appreciate it. Or drop me a comment, and I hope to see you guys in another video. What's up, Dakota? Oh, that's my